They tell me it was dark, that I had no vision to spare for the sky. I stood there, not alone, but more alone than I shall ever be again. Those who also left in best were there with me, but I have no memory of their faces or their tears. I have no memory of their loving arms as they sheltered me against the enormity of the loss and held me up when body and muscle would have crumpled and failed. I have no memory of their voices, soft and shaken. Now their voices sing me to sleep, voices of comfort and of hope. Now their voices speak out boldly, powerfully of the message of the Messiah. They are my sisters and daughters, inheritors of the good news. But I do not remember them in that place. I only remember the face and the voice of my son. And I remember the pain. There in that place, the entire world became pain. I breathed it. I writhed under it. It crushed my heart. And it was all I could do to hold on. But you see, it might be that my presence there comfort him a bit, the way I comforted him when he was little and hurt or frightened before the great vision took him and left him with so little room for fear or rather made it irrelevant. Nothing could take away the agony he suffered, but just in case my being there loving him, well, I had to be there. I have other children. I have sons and daughters who look to me to be strong and continually faithful. They seem to think it important that I still be here, part of the story that continues to unfold. I tell them, we are only at the very beginning of the journey, you and I. I am not comfortable with some of them that they want to set me apart as if I was somehow not quite human. They don't understand that that is the most wonderful part of this journey that we are on, to make God's kingdom real. The vision is vested in us, the real ordinary people who live and love and die, as people have for thousands of years, and will go on doing until the end. Do not make me out to be more than I am. For I am quite enough. I am a woman who had a child. That child filled up with God in a way that the world has never seen and will never see again. He embodied God. And God summoned me to be one of his disciples so that all women everywhere would see that the kingdom was theirs too. I cannot speak of the day he died. And you know, my son came among us to teach us how to live. That is what I remember, and so should you.